G'day fellow miners and welcome back to my Feed the Beast Unleashed test world. This is another block spotlight in my Feed the Beast Unleashed Armitage Explained series. Um, today we are going to be looking at this little fellow here, the Mine Factory Reloaded Laser Drill. It is technically a multi-block structure um, because you need these, at least uh, the drill and the precharger, one precharger. Um, and you need to do a slight bit of preparation before you actually use this machine. So we're going to get right into it and we're going to start with setting up a mining well to uh, mine a, and I might put it up, th oh hang on, that wasn't, that was what I wanted to do. I might put it up three so that we can have a look down the hole. We will mount the mining drill. We need to apply power to this so I'm going to set up uh, this energy bridge system and connect a quantum generator and I'll be back when I've done that. Okay so we have our mining well set up and it is wired up to our system here. We're just going to turn it on and we're just going to let the blocks fly into the air. I'm not really interested in what they are and we'll have a look down the shaft. We'll try and see whether or not this has made it all the way to bedrock. It looks like it may have, so we're going to break the mining well. And whoop, we are going to go down. So here we are, we're all the way down at bedrock. This is important, you need you need an unobstructed view to bedrock for this um, for this uh, machine to work. Whoop. I need to go back down again. And um, we've done that, so we're going to pick up the rest of our blocks everywhere and we're actually going to move this um, across a little bit after we set up the uh, the drill okay so obviously we'll just shift all this stuff out of the way for now you need to take your laser drill and you need to pop it above the hole all the way to bedrock. You'll immediately see that there's a uh, beam going down and the beam will set you on fire. It doesn't do any damage to you, I don't think. I'm yet to, uh, I'm yet to take any damage. But this is not actually ready yet. We need to pop some scaffolding uh, around the outside like this. And then we take our pre-charges and we point them at all four sides of the drill and we then will take out our scaffolding and you'll see that beams connect to the sides of our laser drill. Um, oops, I'm wrenching this and I don't want to, uh, I want to right click. You can see that the laser uh, drill precharger has energy and uh, a work ticker and an idle ticker like all MFR machines. The laser drill has an energy ticker and a work ticker and it has this inventory which I'll explain a little bit later. Uh, and I, um, uh, I'm not entirely sure whether it's actually working properly. But you need to power each of these uh, laser drill pre-chargers. What I'm going to do for that is I'm going to hook up two of them to uh, Minecraft jewels. So we'll put our BC, uh, BC producer energy bridge our HV consumer because where did that go? HV consumer because we're using a quantum generator. Um, actually, I won't put that in yet. Let's take that out. I'll put my quantum generator there and I'll put a switch on it and we will switch it off. And then I will pop this on here so our bridge is inactive at the moment. Um, so two of them are powered by MJ. I want to power two of them with um, a, with a EU signal. So I'm going to perhaps put scaffolding he uh, here. Hang on, bear with me. And I will put my 
quantum generator here. Uh, I need to get another one of those little switches. I'll be right back. Okay, I have a switch fitted to this quantum generator, and as you can see, these are not quite getting power yet. Um, this is outputting 512 packets. Let's set it up to output uh, 1024. So that it's producing 512 EU per tick for each of these. We'll just do a comparison to see uh, see which is which is better. I, I'm assuming that they're both going to be the same. And basically, once that is done, um, you need to pop a chest on top of your uh, laser drill. You could put a chest there. You could put uh, an ME interface from the Applied Energistics mod, you could put a Buildcraft pipe, um, anything that will interface with the uh, with this you, you could use the Mine Factory Reloaded item routers, uh, whatever you choose to use to collect the drops it must go on top. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on and we can see that the precharges are getting power and if we look in here we can see that the laser drill is performing its work and as this ticks up slowly, uh, once it gets to the top, it will do its job. Now let's check and see what happens if we turn this one on. What are we getting? It looks like it's about the same. Actually, I think this is doing slightly better. It's quite possibly because of the, um, the uh, power converter in the middle. But as you can see, if you look at the, in the chest now, there is actually an ore block. Copper ore it's produced. So that is basically um, what this machine does. There we go, it now produces Certus Quartz. Let's have a look at the... You can see the work is going up quite quickly. Um, it will... What it basically does is it... As long as it has an unobstructed view to bedrock, this machine will randomly generate a piece of ore from the ore table. Um, now there are some ores that are not included in the ore table for this machine. I don't know how to set that up so that they that it will produce all ores. Uh, I've yet to find a config file for that. Um, it's just created a silver ore. But it will produce ores from both the overworld and the nether. Um, but it uh, excluding ores from um, Tinker's Construct. It doesn't produce cobalt and it doesn't produce, oh there we go, we got a diamond ore. It doesn't produce cobalt and it doesn't produce um, uh, the other one, the orange Ardite. Oh, we got some redstone. I have one of these set up that I've had running for quite some time and we are going to quickly um, change our game mode to creative so that we can just teleport over there. I should really have set up a, a book for this but I have a waypoint to it. So we go to our mining laser, teleport to. Here we are, right on top of it. This one I've just got running off a quantum generator. You can see the chest is chock-a-block full. It's producing, oh look, it's, it's producing the nether ores as well. Um, so it's produced uh, yeah, nether iron, redstone, gold, coal, uh, emerald, lapis. So it's it's produced everything basically. So you've got certus quartz, you've got nether quartz. It does it produces glowstone. Um, as I said, it doesn't produce absolutely every ore in the game, um, but it produces the majority of them. Um, like I said, it, it, you won't get. Uh, well, actually, there's another. It doesn't. It doesn't mine uranium by the looks of things. I don't see any uranium in there. Let's check. No, no uranium. Um, and then there may be other ores that it doesn't. Let's have a look. Uh, it, well, it doesn't produce the dark ores, but they're just uh, they're just written over. Uh, oh, amethyst ore, I guess. Ah, force. It doesn't. There's no force ore in here. 
which is another interesting one. But it, you can see that it's quite a useful item for getting your core ores. Um, and it's completely passive. And if we if we uh, if we fly down, you can see that it hasn't actually removed the ores from the world. It just randomly generates them. Um, so you can imagine if you have multiples of these set up, that uh, that uh, um, they will generate ores quite uh, quite nicely. So that's uh, pretty much. Oh, actually, one last thing we need to talk about is the inventory slots in the in the mining drill. There are um, these. Uh, laser focuses of different colors and each color will increase the chance of a particular ore being generated. I won't go through what they are. If you want to know what they are, there's a list on the uh, on the Feed the Beast wiki of what each of these laser focuses do. Um, or you can, you can find it on the Mine Factory Reloaded page, I think. Uh, and each one does different sets of ores or different singular ores. Like for example, the, the laser focus white, um, if you fill this up with laser focus white, it's more likely to produce nether quartz um, than it is anything else. Um, and it may just throw stuff on the ground, I don't know, because the this uh, chest is really, really full. Let's take out the nether quartz and see what happens. Oh, it just produced lead, or tin, sorry. Um, bump this up a bit and see whether that speeds things up. Yeah, there we go. That's as fast as it works. What's it going to produce? There we go. So it's produced nether ore, uh, nether quartz ore. So those focuses are basically to give you the option to maybe pro uh, tell your drill to primarily find um, the one ore. It doesn't guarantee it. There is no guarantee that it'll actually generate this ore in particular. Um, it is only a um, an increased chance. So there you go. It just produced silver, but after producing two nether quartz in a row. And these are just crafted using um, the Mine Factory Reloaded stained glass pane of the appropriate color. Some gold nuggets and some emeralds. So uh, kind of expensive to make. Uh, probably. Once you get this thing fired up and it's run, been running for a while, you know, you know, there's lots and lots of ore in here. I can't tell you how long this has been running, but um, it'd be probably, probably a few days. But this is a lot of ore for a few days, and there's no, you know, annoying, uh, there's no annoying tin all that time, um, cobble, sand. You don't have to deal with any water, uh, unless of course you come across la uh, lava in your lava or water in your um, mining well tunnel um, but you can easily deal with that, it's only one wide um, so yeah that's easily dealt with by just pouring water down there and throwing your uh, we got copper that time, throwing your um, mining well back on to get rid of the uh, obsidian but pretty much that's it guys. This is the uh, the Mine Factory Reloaded Laser Drill. Very, very interesting machine. Very cool sort of uh, alternative to a quarry or a, um, uh, <laughs> a turtle, I suppose, turtle mining. Uh, and a lot of fun to play with it. It looks cool too. Like this, this crazy laser looks very cool. Uh, but that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and keep on digging.